What's up, YouTube? We're doing it again. We're talking and driving and driving and talking. Oh, no. Anyway, I figured I'd do a little discussion today about why I don't do bad yo-yo reviews or why I don't... <laughs> Um, that's come up before, and the way it was phrased online was that nobody does bad yo-yo reviews anymore. And they said it on the BST, I believe. Maybe it was Reddit. Anyway, somebody had said that nobody does bad yo-yo reviews anymore. So, or nobody ever gives a yo-yo a bad review. And a lot of the things that came up was, well, if they give you a bad review, then they won't get more from that company, and yada, yada, yada. And that's not the case at all, truthfully. Um, I do, at least with me. I I'm pretty sure with everybody else, too. I know all the rest of the guys. I've met them several times who do yo-yo reviews, and any of us that do them will tell you if we don't like the yo-yo, or we'll tell you if we do like the yo-yo, if there's an inherent flaw with the yo-yo, or if something sucks with the yo-yo, we will tell you. The fact of the matter is, though, that uh, there really just aren't that many bad yo-yos that come out. I mean, think about it. What was the last bad yo-yo? Especially, and you have to think of it this way, particularly in 2019, I haven't reviewed any yo-yos that didn't come out this year or maybe last year. Uh, and pretty much anybody else that does them too, yo-yos come out so often that it's hard to go back and do old yo-yos. I've done a lot of old yo-yos before, but it's hard to go back and do old yo-yos now just because I'm a lot busier now with the kids. To have a lot, I just don't have as much time to go back and do that stuff, and I don't make videos every single day. Also, and I, there's just so many new yo-yos coming out that even if I'm going to do one or two reviews a week, I can still fall behind pretty quickly. So the fact of the matter is that most of us just do new yo-yo reviews because new yo-yos come out all the time and there's really never a break or a stop in new yo-yos coming out so why would I go back and review a yo-yo unless there's you know some sort of a restock or new colors or something from years ago when I could be doing a brand new yo-yo and I probably have a brand new yo-yo to do so that's why you don't usually see us review older yo-yos and the thing about newer yo-yos particularly is can you think of the last bad yo-yo to come out like actually actual bad yo-yo because I I can't really there haven't been many bad yo-yos to come out most of the yo-yos that have come out have been pretty darn good they've maybe not all been my cup of tea but there's no real inherent flaws with them the only yo-yo that I could think of that came out lately was more of a like, I think I overhyped it and I was disappointed in the way that it was out of the box, um, was the Roadrunner, the Duncan Roadrunner. I was just disappointed with how the, with with really the gap of the yo-yo. It was, it had red pads, it was really grip, like it was really, really, really overly grippy, snaggy, too snaggy for a new yo-yo. And that's really the last yo-yo that I can think of that, not that it was bad or that it played poorly or that it was overpriced or anything, it was actually pretty cheap. Uh, it was a cool shape, that's why I wanted it and why I got it, and because it was cheap and Duncan generally makes really fun and good stuff, I just, the gap just didn't, didn't do it for me. It was too snaggy and too tight and it just didn't work for me. Didn't like it. So that's, I gave it, not, I didn't say it was bad particularly, I, you know, put it through its paces and said, you know, it's a, does this fine, does that fine, this is snaggy, I don't like it the way this works, I don't like the way this feels, and I just, I was honest about it, that's all. Um, that, you know, I think that's really the only one that I could say was sort of like a disappointment. Everything else that I've tried, really, you try to put things into perspective, have been very, very good. Uh, I don't, can't think of anything that I thought was you know, overpriced or anything like that. Mostly, I feel like yo-yos have fallen into a price point now where if they're really expensive yo-yos, they're either really expensive for a reason and they still sell out anyway. Uh, think G2s, think um, the ART stuff. And with that, it's just the, the QC, they get rid of so many. And it's they're so... 
not that there's so few of them, it's just that the, the demand of, for them is so high, and they're such good yo-yos, and, and they're also, you know, machined in expensive places to have the highest quality product come out, etc., etc. So, you know, there's reasons for expenses like that, but for the most part, most yo-yos don't really... You very rarely see a crappy yo-yo come out, or even just like a normal meh yo-yo come out that's expensive. Most of the time, if, if your yo-yo comes out that's expensive, it's expensive for a reason. Nobody's really making super bank on, uh, you know, a hundred yo-yos. You know what I mean? Nobody's charging like ten times what they what it cost them to have it manufactured for a yo-yo. It's not like that big of an upcharge. And, you know, nobody's really, you know, getting rich on yo-yos. This is a sort of a passion project for everybody. And that's really, I think, the, the long and short of it. So basically, a lot of bad yo-yos don't really come out current day. The other thing is that those of us who have now, you know, built up YouTube channels reviewing yo-yos, we've touched a lot of yo-yos. A lot, a lot of yo-yos. I've touched more yo-yos than I'd care to think about. I know what I'm gonna like. Also, I know who sends me stuff, and the guys that send me stuff generally send me good stuff. I don't think anybody's ever sent me, that I can think of, a yo-yo that I just thought was, oh God, this sucks. So, you know, for that point, in order to like do a bad yo-yo review, I would have to seek out a bad yo-yo. I would be able to tell if it was a bad yo-yo, I would just have to seek it out and then pay my money for it and then either confirm my suspicion that I wasn't gonna like the yo-yo or, you know, be surprised that I actually didn't mind the yo-yo or that I liked it. Um, so that's kind of the other thing about it is that in order for me to give a yo-yo a bad review, I would probably have to seek out said bad yo-yo on my own. Now I might do this around Christmas time, maybe next, maybe this month, maybe the end of this month. I may, may spend 20 or $30 on Amazon and do uh, the worst yo-yos on Amazon. I might seek them out. And we'll see, I might do that. Uh, that could be an interesting thing to do. But, you gotta figure, any video that I put out, even a video that would be hugely popular, might make me $8. So, if I spend $30 to make a video, and let's say it's the most successful video ever, and I make $12 on that one video. I've still lost $18 to make that one video. Now, it could be a cool video, could totally be worth it. I've definitely bought things that weren't gonna make the money back or whatever for the, uh, but if I know it's gonna be junk, I generally don't spend money to have junk, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? Like if I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna like this, I'm gonna go waste $30. You know, that's kind of a stupid idea. So that's why I don't do that that often, although I may do it for the worst yo-yos on Amazon, because I think those are usually between eight and ten dollars, so I might get two or three of like eight and ten dollar like metal yo-yos that just come up from like random manufacturers that nobody's ever heard of that are on Amazon, and just kind of make a video like, hey, these are the worst yo-yos on Amazon, just so that if anybody Googles it, my video, my face pops up, and says, these yo-yos suck for these reasons. The Bibu God of Death would have been a, uh, although I don't think they sell those anymore, but uh, that would have been an example of one of the worst yo-yos on Amazon. But anyway, I digress. So that's really the long and short of it. Why aren't there bad yo-yo reviews for yo-yos people say are bad? There's really no bad yo-yos anymore. It's hard to make a bad yo-yo now and people generally don't make bad yo-yos. The people who want to invest their time and their money, these are usually hobbyists, who want to invest their time and their money into making a yo-yo and putting out a product, generally know how to do it. And they know what they like in yo-yos, they know what other people are gonna like in yo-yos, they prototype it first. If the prototype sucks, they don't make that yo-yo. It happens, I'm sure there's people who have had prototypes come back and gone, ooh, I don't like half of this, and have sort of redone something and a bunch of things to make the yo-yo not, not crappy anymore. It usually just takes a couple little things here and there. So that to me would is, you know, basically why bad yo-yo reviews don't come out. 
Maybe I'll do some. I have done some before. Uh, in fact, I think I did two this year. I said I didn't like the Duncan Roadrunner, and I said that I did not like the Colossus, which one was it, 4? From Tapio. I didn't like the Colossus 4. It felt wonky to me. I didn't like it. Anyway, those were the two that uh, I, I did that I thought, oh, I'm going to like these, and then I was disappointed by them. Really, it was more disappointment. It's not that they were like, oh my god, this yo-yo sucks. It's a spinning, wobbly ball. I just, I didn't, I didn't like them. I was disappointed in them. I thought they would be better than they were, and, you know, they were budget yo-yos. They were like 30 bucks or less, so, you know, I was hoping for a budget for more, but you guys should get, get, you get what you pay for, and I got what I paid for with that, and it was not up to what I had expected to get, and maybe that's on me. Oh well. But anyway, that's why there's no such thing as a bad, not that there's no such thing, that's why you don't see too many bad yo-yo reviews. And I just wanted to give that little explanation to you guys whilst I drove home. What do you guys think of this setup? It feels a little close. I feel a little, a little close. I'm feeling a little, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.